And locally, frustrations and concerns run high for both universities and the college prep companies who help students get ready to apply. KETK's Annalise Koble shares their disappointment in the scandal and some hope for students looking to attend college right here in East Texas. Many Americans work toward their dream college for years and never get that coveted acceptance letter. Others are less excited after getting the golden ticket to prestigious universities. But I do want the experience of like game days, partying, I don't really care about school. That's Olivia Jade, daughter of Lori Laughlin, who was arrested in connection with the huge college entrance scandal involving at least 50 people. A scheme that allegedly got Olivia Jade and her sister into the University of Southern California. So for those people who are really doing everything they can to try to, you know, break into the college arena, um, it's very disconcerting that uh, precious spots are taken up by people who don't have the academic qualifications. A fact that can't be taken lightly when you find out the acceptance rates of some schools involved in the scandal. But each year it seems to get more and more competitive because more students are wanting to get into college and uh, those colleges uh, tighten up their admission standards to create a more competitive advantage so that they uh, don't overload their capacity. The admissions office at Stephen F. Austin tells us they keep their admission policy straight with a lot of oversight. Good regular practices and, and not just when uh, you know an emergency happens or when something to this level happens but uh, having regular practices in place so our college admissions practices but having a, a review or an exam of those. Hopefully leaving East Texas students and educators with trust. Annalise Coble, KETK News.